But first, you know the drill. Our friend Matt Lauer is off on day four of his global journey, and the producers won't tell Al, Ann, and I where he is. So for the fourth time this week, we're asking, we're begging, we're pleading, where, where in, the in the world, world is, is Matt, Matt Lauer? Where in the world, where in the world is Matt Lauer? Hey, Meredith, Allen, and good morning. Welcome to day four of Where in the World. And you remember the clue, and you guys are getting awful cocky, so let's see how you did with this one. The clue was, so the prime rate you guessed, the red lights you saw through, the anagram even proved easy to chew. In this place you can rock, there's one heck of a mall with a turn of the head, different continents call. So for the fourth time this week, where in the world am I? Well, I, I, I think I'm wrong, but I thought continent, two continents... New Zealand ha is on a submerged continent, Australia next to it. They've got to have rocks in New Zealand, so I thought New Zealand. Uh, and I, Cleveland, I, I, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, Where? Cleveland? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. Nice. Well, I thought, you know, uh, a heck of a mall, one of the greatest malls ever was the Grand Bazaar uh, in, in Istanbul. And there's a bridge, the Bosphorus a bridge, that connects Europe and Asia. So oh. if you're on the bridge, you look either side, you're looking at two continents. You're definitely on a boat. Yeah, Ooh. you're on a boat. All right. All right, that's kind of... Jeff, can you just move back for a second? Let me get down from here. And let me just do this. First of all, Anne and Meredith. <laughs> 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 Welcome to day four of Where in the World is Matt Lauer, and today we are in the astonishingly beautiful city of Istanbul, Turkey. You've heard a lot of people refer to cities as kind of the crossroads of the world. Well, guess what? This is the real deal. Al, you're right. I'm on a boat right now, a beautiful sailboat. I'm in the Bosphorus Strait, and this is a body of water that separates Europe from Asia. So Jeff Riggins is with me right now. Jeff, let's show what we mean. On this side is the city of Istanbul. This is the Asian side of Istanbul. Don't get seasick. <laughs> this is the European side of Istanbul. It is the only city in the world that can brag that it straddles two separate continents, Asia and Europe. Now, of the 13 to 15 million people who live here, the majority live, let's go, Jeff, back on the Asian side. That's right, 13 to 15 million people. It's like taking the population of Buenos Aires, Vientiane, and Amsterdam and combining it. It's a city of great history. For the past 2,000 years, this has been the cradle of civilization. That's the reference in the clue to you can rock in this place. It has been the birthplace of religions. It has been the home of vast empires, and it's been a global pivot point where East does meet West. By the way, if you ever come here, and about 23 million tourists came here last year, get on a boat. It doesn't have to be as glamorous as this one. And just kind of tour the shore areas here along the Bosphorus. I mean, look at that mosque right there. There are great private homes there. There are palaces along these waterways. Some of them can cost up to $50 million. So this is prime real estate. Wow. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to go to dry land. We're going to show you two of the most recognizable landmarks here in Istanbul, the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. We're also going to explore the history of this city, and then we're going to flip the coin. Newsweek magazine recently called Istanbul the coolest city in the world. So we're going to find out why so many people are deciding that this is the place to come to have fun. So, merhaba, or welcome, and hello to day four of Where in the World. Meredith, Al, and Ann. Al, congratulations. Yeah. Well, congratulations, yeah, Congratulations. I just feel like a turkey for getting it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit, Matt.